Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Today, I am doing a review of this here tent, the Spring Bar Classic Jack 100. I've got the six person. It's a 10 by 10 tent. Plenty roomy in there. I love this thing. Uh, I got this size because A, it's just me and I don't want to be greedy, but B, this biatch is heavy. I can only lift the 10 by 10. It's like total weight. I think they said around 85 pounds with the everything. Fortunately, you got it busted down into two bags. You got your poles in one and the tent in the other. So one bag's probably about 65, 60, 65 pounds. The other one's the rest. It still messes me up, <laughs> but it's worth it. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's easy to set up. You can go back and see my video on setting this bad boy up. Uh, basically, a few poles, boom, 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 you're done. One person, no problem. Uh, I was asked why I chose this over the Kodiak, because the Kodiak, I'll be honest with you, it's 100 bucks cheaper. But what I liked about this one versus the Kodiak is just the features. Um, this one has a front door and a large front window and a doubly large back window. So if I didn't have this emergency blanket over the back window keeping the sun off the back of my tent, I'd have airflow up the waz. And that's what I was looking for. And I'll have that as soon as the really bad heat is over and I don't need to keep all that sun off the back. In this winter, I'm going to want it on the back to heat up my tent for me. So that's, that's going to work nicely. I'll take all this protective, tarpy, blankety stuff down and just let tent be tent. Uh, for now, since it's still creeping into the hundreds every few days, I've got tarps over this bad boy. I've got the reflective blanket on the back. I mean, I'm trying to keep it as cool as possible. <coughs> Pardon. You may have noticed my breathing lately. A, I've got a lavalier and it's next to my mouth. But B, the air quality out here isn't that great. <laughs> so I'm being affected by that as well. Um, back to the tent, because that's why you're here. Uh, so yeah, the features, I, I, the Kodiak has a door in front and a door in back. That's its options. Boom, boom, door, door. I'd rather have windows than doors. I don't want somebody coming in the back while I'm fumbling to get the hell out of the front. Uh, it just seemed a little more safe to me to have one door instead of two. Uh, just the logistics. I'd much rather have this big, huge window right here and that one right there. Backwards, there we go. See, I suck with mirrors and reverses. And um, hey, yeah, I've got the fancy gloves on. It's like my version of the lacy black undies. You know I need to do laundry when I'm wearing these biatches. I mean, look how small they are. They don't even cover my darn tan lines. That's nuts. <laughs> my hands don't like them. I don't know. Anyway, back to the tent. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased with this tent. Uh, so far, I mean, it's supposed to stand up to really big winds. Not super duper huge winds. I mean, if it's up in the 60s, this baby is getting collapsed as far as I can and tightened as badly as I can so that it doesn't blow away. But in anything blowish that, uh, so far I've been probably 20, 25 gusts, maybe to 30, uh, and it's been fine. Uh, the tarp is the big thing. The tent is no biggie. It just stands up to anything. I do take down the awning above me here when it gets really windy because that's stupid to leave that up there to flap around for no damn reason. So you can roll it up and just stick it up above the front door there and it's got its little space. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful tent. I am really liking this. It's got great airflow back to front. It's got vents on the sides so you got some airflow if I didn't have it covered up with tarps. I've got them loosened so that you can get some air going through there. Because it does get warm in the afternoons. I'll grant you that. 
but you know it's like 100 degrees out it's going to get warm anywhere in the afternoons you can't help it but it provides great shade with this awning with the tarp over it i can attach it to my rig and have a whole bunch more shade a shaded patio area so lots of great options but it's tough I am very impressed with this thing so far. Super easy to put up. That's a perk. The worst part, I've got 18 inch spikes. I mean, spikes. Those are gonna be a biatch to get in and out. So I don't plan on moving this a whole lot. I'm hoping to just keep it in place and keep those spikes there until April 15th when the season ends. Yet when I have to down it, I'm just gonna drop the top down, pull out the side poles, the top will come down, and then I'll tarp the heck out of it to hold it down. Because, yeah, these winds out here, they're nothing to mess with. From what I understand, if you don't have a canvas tent, you might be in danger of having your tent just shredded. Might be. I mean, I, I do see a lot of nylon tents out here. It's a little surprising, but it's folks that have been out here year after year, and they're still using their tents. So, I mean, it might survive. Why take those chances? I mean, this thing, with any luck at all for what I paid for it, is going to last me several years at least. At least. Out here, I mean, seven months put up in the desert sun and wind and rain and everything. Uh, yes, tarps protecting it for now, but not always. Um, so we'll see how this thing holds up, but right now I am super duper pleased with it. And the only reason I chose it over the Kodiak was because of the, the window door features. Uh, it's not like the Kodiak had a pole up in the middle of it or anything, because I'm too old for pole dancing. I really am. I break a hip. So that is not the reason I didn't choose it, because, you know, hip breaking, not an issue. It, it has the same kind of technique, technology, whatever over here, as this one does, just a spring bar type thing across the top to hold it up. But yeah, just the, the two doors didn't grab me. I'd rather have two really big windows and one door. So that's my reason right there. It's a personal preference. Whatever grabs your fern, do that. So there you go. There's the review of the Spring Bar Classic Jack 100 versus the Kodiak, which I didn't get. So hope that helps you out some in making your decisions when you go to buy. I mean, they're both fine, high quality tents. It's just a matter of features. So whatever you want, you get. You deserve it. You deserve the best. You got to spoil yourself because who the heck else is going to spoil you rotten like you can? You know what you want. So there you go. There's my review. And I will catch you guys down the road. Shutterbug out.